Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here. Today we're going to be going in with an old goblin deck. Right now I'm at around 1900 trophies. We're going to see if we can actually win some battles if we use the goblin barrel, the goblin hut, the goblins, and the spear goblins. Um, I also have the fireball, I have the poison, and I have the mirror along with the rage spell. So all the troops that I have are only goblins, and then I have just some other things to fill up the rest of the spaces. So let's go ahead and see how well I did on some of these attacks. So this is going to be a pretty interesting deck to actually go ahead and attack with, but you can see that we're going to be attacking CJ Baker 07, and I think that I'm going to be dropping in a Fireball as soon as he drops in, uh, you know, the Goblin Hunt, because I knew he was going to drop in a Goblin Hunt or some sort of building, because people always start out with buildings. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and Fireball the Goblin Hunt along with the Tower on the left side. Um, so we're going to be easily able to take out a few of these Spear Goblins. I think I'm going to be dropping in my Goblin Barrels on the right side with the Mirror, and you can see that the the giant skeleton is going to be taking my left tower. My goblins are going to go out there, and it looks like they're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage against him, but they also um, got taken out by that bomb you can see right there, and it looks like the his ice wizard is going to be able to take out my left tower, and there it goes. There is the first crown for him. Now, I'm still crownless on this raid, but hopefully we can actually clean it up towards the end. So we still have 2 minutes and 5 seconds to go ahead and take out his tower on the right side and also uh, take out his main tower or take out the left tower. So you can see I'm going to drop in another goblin barrel. I should probably pay attention to the musketeer and the knight he just dropped in. Um, but we just got that first crown and it looks like I'm going to be uh, a little bit in trouble. I'm going to drop in the poison spell just because I haven't used the poison spell yet. It's going to be able to do quite a little bit of damage. Um, and you can see right there the musketeer and the knight are going to go down. I'm going to drop in my Spear Goblins, which are level 9. Now, if you guys were actually to try out this deck, you know, in the 2000 range, you guys would probably get demolished, because right now, things aren't looking too good for me. This guy is using high-level troops, and my goblins aren't standing a single chance. You can see that my tower on the right side has 200 HP left, um, and we still have a minute and 20 seconds, so let's go ahead and see what happens. The Ice Wizard is going to get taken out, or virtually taken out, now what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and attack from the left side. We still have a minute remaining and he's going to be able to take out my last tower there with one of the spear goblins. So I'm going to drop in the goblin barrel on the left side. We're going to be trying to take that out. 60 seconds remaining on the raid with double elixir. Can we finally, you know, come back and clutch it? So I'm going to drop in a rage spell and I basically just wasted that rage spell because he had a level 5 Valkyrie. Now this goes to show why you shouldn't use a goblin deck. You can see that I'm getting beat by a level 7. We're gonna lose on this raid. He's gonna get three crowns. I'm gonna get one crown and this guy You know honestly deserved it, but the goblin deck is just so so horrible So I do not recommend it at all Maybe next raid we'll have a little bit more luck with the goblin deck and so far I think that the goblin deck is actually you know good for the lower levels Definitely not for the higher level just because there's just so many options besides the goblins that you can use and right now We're gonna be attacking Shiksaw so we're going to be using the exact same deck in Arena 6. He's going to be going in, it looks like, with the Mirror first, or the Tesla. He's probably going to drop in a Tesla in the middle of the base, as, you know, everyone does. Um, so you can see I drop in the Goblin Hut in the middle. Two Goblin Huts, actually. I'm going to mirror that. Um, so now we have two streams of Goblins going on the left and right side, so that's always good. I'm going to send in some Spear Goblins on the right side as well. Hopefully do a little bit of damage. Right now, I don't know exactly what I'm waiting for. I think I'm just going to go ahead and swarm his base, just send in all these Goblins at once but he probably has like a fireball that he's gonna use in just a second here now I forgot to mention that this guy is level 7 and something that I want to say is that I actually lost quite a ton of trophies that's why I'm actually at 1900 trophies right now I was originally at 2300 trophies and I lost so many raids using this exact same deck so I definitely don't recommend this at all his giant is gonna be able to take out both of my goblin huts it looks like one is actually going to manage to stay up. We still have two minutes remaining to actually do a little bit of damage here. And as you can see, if you notice on his sort of screen, he has 10 elixir. And he's going to be holding on to the fireball for a very, very long time. And the reason for that is he's not actually playing the game. And I think that maybe his mom told him to get off or something or he just had to go. So this is the only raid that I won with this deck around this trophy count. So I definitely do not recommend you using this. You can see that I'm going to go ahead and use many goblins as I can. The only thing he pretty much dropped in was like the giant and the elixir collector. I'm going to take out the first crown here and then we're going to go for the rest of the crowns in just a second. I'm going to drop in a rage spell 
And the sad thing is that it's actually hard for me to attack when he's not even playing the game. So you can see that he's still holding on to that fireball. I'm going to go ahead and wait until my elixir builds up. That's why I'm not even dropping a single troop. He can come back to the game anytime he wants and probably still win against me at this point. So I'm going to drop in a goblin barrel. Then we're going to drop in some more goblins right here. 60 seconds left. So we do have double elixir while this guy is still holding on to that fireball. I'm going to be able to get all the crowns here. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys want free gems click the first link down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one peace